Helen Nigeria. I am joined by a delightful woman who does amazing work for other women. Her name is St. Peter's I'm Bell Jigo. And men as well, St. Peter Belgigo, and she is a lawyer and the founder of the St. Peter's Belgigo Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. Thank you. For so, me. you're a lawyer, but yes, you I also am. have a foundation. What's your foundation about? Okay, now the foundation, like the reason that I'm, I'm here, because I start talking about the foundation, we're not going to leave here. So, the foundation has, has an arm called uh, the revisitation. Because so, in 2004, you know, God uh, promised me that He would revisit my marital destiny. And that was after two failed and hellish and childless marriages, you know. And then in 2005, he told me the kind of man he was going to give me. And I was like, God, let me just make sure that I'm not uh, having a conversation with myself here. So what, is, what sort of man um, is, is he? He didn't tell me if he was tall, short, black or white. How do I recognize him? And the Lord asked me how I wanted to recognize him. And I told him, number one, I wanted him to come exceptionally kind to me. Because kindness was something that I did not get from any of those uh, marriages. So because God was involved now, I said kindness, not just kindness, but exceptional kindness. I said, number two, let him say to me, your God will be my God. Okay, yes. And then number three, I said to him, I don't want him to like football. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like football? Even God <laughs> likes football, right? <laughs> you oh know, but goodness. yeah, but I said it, you know. And then in 2006, so I, I was in the UK studying um, uh, law, and um, London to be precise. And at the end of my, my law study, I went to Scotland for my master's in, in energy. And that was where, where I met my husband in 2006. So that's 2006, when I saw that he was dancing around me, because in those other marriages, I, I couldn't have a child. The doctor said to me that there was nothing inside me that could make a baby, okay? So when I saw that this Igbo guy was dancing around me, and I knew how important you know, children were to, to, the, to the Igbos. I am Igbo as well, okay? I said, Oga, if the reason you're dancing around me, okay, is for is anything serious, hey, I can have a child. And then I said, uh, whose report are you going to believe and stuff? I said, oh, you, you, you got to do better than that. that. That's what every brother says in Nigeria. Now, Jerry stepped back, you know, took a look at my, you know, Tommy and said, when I'm ready to put my seed in that womb, that womb <laughs> cannot resist my seed. And that was exactly what happened. Um, seven months after we got married, or eight months, you know, spontaneously, not, no help, no nothing. Spontaneously, out of a womb, they said there was nothing. In Nigeria, they said I couldn't win the battle. In the UK, they said if I didn't get rid of my uterus, that I was going to die. Then in the, in the US, they said, oh, Miss Peters, there is nothing inside you that can make a baby. <laughs> but there is a God up there, come on. And through um, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, that says that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. I just supernaturally saw uh, my daughter in there, in that verse, verse 3 of Ephesians 1. Like, every, every material blessing um, was once a spirit in the spirit realm, okay? Could be in the mind or in the realm of God or in the uh, sixth or fourth dimension, you know, whichever way you want to put it. So I believed God that my daughter existed in the realm, the unseen realm of the word, the wow. invisible God, and bam, this it was is there, really okay? <laughs> of course, when I met oh. him, he was exceptionally kind, and then... Um, Did he like football? He, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> The second fleece, um, we had went to the U.S. and they came, went back to, to the U.K. and he visited me. As he was going into the bathroom, he said, I don't, I don't even uh, 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 care what anybody says about you. All I know is that your God <laughs> will be my God. I said, what did you say? He said, I said, your God will be my God and your people, my people. Okay, Come on. He quoted point, the whole thing. <laughs> I think I'm going to go get my notepad. You better. I get my pen and write the specifics. <laughs> Of how I want this to be made man, and how I want him yes, to, so. to come to me. This is so encouraging. Oh yes, and what that, gave you, you know, the guts? I, I'll call it guts to yes. love again after two failed marriages. This yes. is because there are many young girls who have experienced heartbreak, and then they come and say, you know what, I'm done with this love thing. Yes. But after two marriages that yes. failed without children, mm -hmm. you still had the guts to dare to love again. Oh yes, because in the first marriage, you know, I got tired of the the pain of the unforgiveness and the bitterness, you know, and all the ill will toward the strange woman, you know, all those like let her die and stuff. I, I, I began to, to notice that, that the baggage was on me. So I, I forgave him for, the, for sins committed in the past and the present and whatever I was going to do in the future. So I lived free, okay? I, I was no longer a prisoner of, of, that, um, of that captivity. You know, I, I was free, even though I was, I was in there, but I was free. 
Now, there are, some, there are people uh, who are not in prison, like the physical prison, but they are prisoners, you know, of their own minds or, you know, their own um, uh, philosophies, okay? While there are those in prison, okay, who are free, they are there, they are creating, they are inventing stuff. They do, not, they do not let the prison bars, you know, like shut them in. So while I was in that marital captivity, I didn't let it shut me in. So I now let God in. I said, God, you know what? This guy doesn't love me, but you love me. Okay, and I, I, read, I read materials from Catherine Coleman who said she fell in love with the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is someone that I was like, mm, Holy Spirit, you know. I said, okay, if it's possible, then hey, okay, I want you as my lover. And I just fell in love with God. And I just started living a God um, addiction lifestyle, okay. And from there, built up a, a dynamic relationship with God. And I, 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 I live free of, of hurt and, and pain because... Uh, the Lord uh, made me understand that pain has uh, passion. And women and men alike are either using the passion of their pain to electrocute themselves or electrify themselves. I use mine to, to light up a world for myself, you know, and here I am then 23 years later last year, the Lord said, okay, I want you to go tell your story. A story that I never wanted to tell, but our first edition, 4th of March, it was fantastic. And you now know? you have taken this pain and you've made it a purpose you i am living in the world purpose. oh yes and now you're you're doing the revisitation tell yes. us what it is about okay now for this edition we've had uh, several editions now this edition is uh, is is, is the uh, baptism of truth edition and the theme is once saved always saved is a lie you know like recently like in the recent past uh, there's been you know this a call, you know, for the for the blood of of the jihadis, you know, by by Christians, by by pastors, calling for death, you know, and all of that. Meanwhile, Matthew chapter five verse forty four, the master expressly told us that we must love or we should love our enemies and all of that. Bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, pray for, not against, pray for those who who uh, uh, who uh, uh, despitefully use you and persecute you. He said that ye may be the children of your father, which is in heaven. And then to verse 48 of that uh, chapter, he says, be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly father is perfect. You know, so we, 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 we started that, that movement, you know, love your, love your enemies, you know, sending videos to pastors. You've got to stop making the church to lose power. Each time a believer in Jesus Christ curses another human being, calling for the death of the people that Christ sent us here to go salvage, to go save, to go lead to, to salvation. The church loses power. The devil strikes a point, okay? Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, so now this message of once saved, always saved, do you understand, is an internal war that is raging. It, so it's not the Fulani headsmen. It's not Boko Haram. It's not ISIS that is the church's problem. The church, the present church generation, from the leadership to the door, we are ourselves the worst enemies. We've got, we, we, need, we need to destroy that, that notion of once saved, always saved. Uh, the grace of God has saved me through faith, so I can just go on uh, uh, just living anyhow. And because I know that this is a conversation that many people, you know, many people have argued for and against, of course. and the arguments will continue, but I'm sure you're going to break this down explicitly at your event happening yes. in a few days. Yes. Where is it happening at? It's happening at Radisson Blue uh, Hotel. Okay. Um, at, it's at uh, um, GRA, okay. Isaac John Street. What time? Yes. The time is 2 p.m. It's on Sunday, the 23rd of June. And how so, can people get there? Do they have to register? Or do they oh, have to yeah, pay? Yes, yes. Please go. To, uh, the admission is absolutely free, okay? But for uh, accountability, okay, well, please go to the, to the website, www.therevisitation.org. Uh, right. Yes, you hit the enter the site button. It opens. Then just go, the form will be there for you to register. How can people yes. follow you on social media? Uh, yes, on uh, um, uh, Instagram. Our Instagram handle is at re underscore, not dash. Some people make that mistake to put re dash. No, it is at re underscore visitation. And then on, on, on Facebook, it is St. Peter's Bell, Kiruka, Faustina, Jigo. All right. Thank you so much for <laughs> Thank us you for having me. Story with us. God bless Such you. Such a powerful story by St. <laughs> Peter's Bell, Jigo, and she's having an event on Sunday, the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Please feel free to attend. Follow them on Instagram at we underscore visitation and mm -hmm. visit their website, www.therevisitation.org. .org, .org yes, yes. yes. And it's happening on Sunday at 2 p.m. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.